Hey students, this is lesson 312, percent and proportions. We are going to learn how to use proportions to solve percent problems. Um, so the first answer here, one way to work with percents is to set up and solve a proportion. And just to remind you what that is, proportion is when you have two equal ratios. And just a couple examples and simple one, one half is equal to two fourths. Three tenths is equal to, let's say, nine over 30. And another example, two fifths is equal to four tenths. Now, one thing interesting that happens when you have proportions is that the cross products are equal. And we're going to use that to solve proportions that are missing a value. Um, cross products are equal. And what I'm saying that is that if I multiply 2 times 2, that equals 1 times 4 when we have a proportion. So 2 times 2 equals 1 times 4. 10 times 9 is equal to 3 times 30. 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. Cross products are always equal in proportions. Uh, and when we're solving a per percent proportion, you will always know two of the missing values. In the percent proportion. What I mean by that is if you look at this down here, we have we have three missing values. We're gonna always know two of those. So two of the three missing values. We're always gonna know two of them. And if we know two of them, then we can find the other one using the idea of cross prop. And I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, um, the part is the B, the whole is A and the percent is n, the part over 100 always. So whenever we're dealing with a percent, we know that's the number over 100 in the proportion. All right? So um, let's do a few problems like this, and I'll show you how we can do that. Um, it says, in this first problem, it says find the following percent. So I'm going to use a proportion to do that. Um, but it says, what percent of 2 thirds is 5 6? I'm going to draw a diagram help me with this and I'm going to split it into thirds so two-thirds would be right there those two parts there one two-thirds two out of three and then we want to know what percent of two-thirds is five six so I'm going to split each of those into in half so that I now have six parts so five six is those five and we want to know what percent of two-thirds is five-six. Well, two-thirds is, you can see that that's four of these, right? And five-six is five of those parts, so that's all of these. So what percent of two-thirds is five-six? Well, five-six is part of, is a part, five, and the whole is the two-thirds, five, so we have five compared to four. We want to know what percent that is, so we're going to put an N there. And now I just have to think of, one way you could solve these is just think of what number times four equals 100. 100 divided by four is 25. And so multiply the top by the same thing, keep it in proportion, five times 25 is 125. And since that's over 100 here, that's a percent. So 125%. Now the second problem here says, what percent of 5, 6 is 2 thirds? I'm going to let you figure that one out. All right. The next problem says, the circles shown represent 30% of the figure. Draw 100% of the figure. Well, if this is 30%, I'm going to think that that's 10 three times, right? So each of those are 10%. Now to get 100%, I need 10 pens. So I'm just going to draw, so we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, now that's 
The next part says draw 150%, so we need another 50%. Another 50% would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I only have 90 there, sorry. Okay, 50% would be half of that. So I need to draw that many more circles for part B. And then it says what percent of the figure is one circle. So let's go back to this the original six. One out of six. That's one is the part, six is the whole. The percent is out of a hundred. Now I'm going to show you another way to solve these. So cross products are equal, right? So that means one times one hundred has to equal 6 times m. And 1 times 100 is 100, right? And 6 times n is 6n. So to find out what number times 6 equals 100, I can just do 100 divided by 6. And 100 divided by 6 is, I think it's 16 and 2 thirds. I don't have a calculator, but you guys can check that work. So it's 16 and two-thirds percent, one out of six. All right. Um, we're going to learn how to set up these proportions now. Uh, let's check out this diagram here. And it says uh, this type of percent diagram is used to help prepare two numbers, kind of like we did with that two-thirds, five-six problem. State in words the question represented by this diagram, write a proportion illustrated by the diagram. Well, in this first one, we have 200 total, and we have 120 out of 200. 120 is the part, 200 is the whole. And notice it's equal in size to this, where we have now um, scaled it to a percent. So it's out of now it's out of 100. And we want to know what percent that is, so we have an N there over the percent. And if it's a simple one like this, 200 divided by 2 is 100, so we can just take 120 divided by 2, which is 60. So, and since the 60 is over 100, that's the percent, so 60%. Okay? All right, now again, we're going to use these proportions here. So here's my proportion. My part divided by my whole is equal to my percent divided by 100. And we're just going to read the problem and just figure out which number goes where. Notice it says what percent, so we're missing the percent, that's n. Uh, it says of 150, whenever it says out of, out of means like out of a whole amount. So that's our whole, so 150 goes where the b is. And then 6 is the last number, and that can only go one place, because it's not a percent, so it can't go over the 100. So the 6 goes right there above the 150. Now we're going to do cross products. 150 times n is equal to 6 times 100, which is 600. And so n equals 600 divided by 150, which is 4. So uh, 6 is 4% of 150. All right, let's try another one of those. Again, we just have to identify the parts. The part, the whole, the percent goes over 100. This one we're given a percent, so automatically we know that goes right above the 100. And then we have to figure out, it says 155% of 20. It, the part that it's out of is always the whole. So 20 goes on the bottom here where the B is, because B is the whole. So 20 there. And then we're going to do cross products. 100 times A equals 20 times 155. 20 times 155 is 3,100. Divide 3,100 by uh, 100 to get our answer. And that equals 31. So 31 out of 20 is the same as 155%. And that makes sense because 155% is more than 100%, so you should add more.
All right, let's do a couple more problems here. Um, at an aquarium, 15% of the fish in the tank are angelfish. There are 21 angelfish in the tank. So 15% and 21 both represent angelfish. How many fish are there in the aquarium tank? So we're looking for a total. So there's 21 angelfish out of some number, and that equals 15%. So the 15 goes over the 100. My part is the part of the tank that are angelfish, which is 21 out of the total. So the whole is what we're looking for here. So now I'm going to do my cross products. 15 times V is equal to 21 times 100, which is 2100. And so V is equal to 2100 divided by 15, which equals... 14. I was thinking that answer looked a little small because the total number of fish should be more than the number of angel fish, and um, I hope you guys caught that. 2100 divided by 15 is 140. All right, um, I think that's enough for one day, and uh, we'll look at the rest of these in class and learn how to do proportions.